Well, hello everybody. Hope you are doing well. Well, today we will be starting a new series where we will be building a car rental app. So let me show you what we will be building. It's like you say, see a very nice and modern UI built using Swift UI. And the best thing is the fact that it's so easy to implement. You see this nice and modern UI with UI kit it would be a little bit difficult, but with the Swift UI it's so easy that uh, honestly best framework ever. So anyway, if uh, you think this subject is interesting, please like, subscribe, and let's start coding. Uh, we will name it tutorial. You are free to name it whatever you want. To just uh, be sure to have Swift UI selected. Okay, very nice. Uh, okay, first thing I will be creating our folders. Uh, creating four folders. First one is up, and uh, we will take tutorial up and put it inside this up folder. Uh, the second one it will be core. The third one is models, and the last one is service. Okay, inside our core folder we will be creating four new folder. Oh, I'm sorry, six new folder. I meant. Okay, the first one I will call it components. And the second one is explore. And the third is favorite. And the fourth is inbox. And the fifth will be more. The six will be the bar, and I'm sorry, uh, we need this number five. It will be called trips. Okay, once that done, we will be. Okay, no, we will be starting with the bar, we will call. New file, I uh, will call it Swift UI view, and we will call it main tabar. Okay, and uh, we will take this file and in our app, I uh, will make the first call to main tabar view. And this content mode, we won't, don't need it anymore, we can delete it. Okay, move to task. Okay, second thing also for the assets, we will be... You will find... Uh, in my GitHub account, uh, to this repository, you will find all the files. You will need to drag this image folder here. You will have all the image you, you, you will need. Also, you will need this app icon. 
for the created and not e console. We need it on okay, we call it up equal. Another thing is uh, probably we will need a color set. I will call it nice green color. And I will give it a color of black and okay. And then we will go to here to our info playlist. In our land screen, we can delete this one UI land screen, we don't need it. And first thing, we will give him a background color. And in this background color, we will take the land screen color we created. Okay, where are we? Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay, then we will create an image name uh, like this one from our image files. We will go to this one last screen. So we need this one image respect safe area inset and we will set it to yes. This one will enable us now to have the land screen. So if we run now, uh, hopefully we just wait for it until it launches again. As you say, as you can see, we have this nice land screen. That's the way we do a land screen in Swift UI. Well, anyway, uh, now let's go back to our main tab, tab bar view. We will create a tab view. Okay, and in our tab view, we we'll create, uh, let's start this way. Text explore and we need to give him a tab item. Let it be a this tag. With image and system name uh, magnifying glass. I hope I'm not wrong with the name. Okay, just uh, so it's clear. Okay, and uh, first of all, oh, we'll be back for that. Okay, text explorer. I will make another one. It's text uh, favorite. With the top item of. I forgot, uh, I need to put text of uh, explore. Okay, an image with system name heart. And the text of favorite. Okay. I will copy and paste that a uh, few times so we can win a little bit of time. The third one will be trips and with the system name of road dot lanes. Okay, and uh, the fourth one will be inbox with a system name of bubble 
Plus and plus plus. So we import. And the last one, it's more. And we have a system name of ellipses. If you don't know where I'm taking these images, uh, system name and all, it's uh, using something called SF symbols. It's this one. For example, if I write ellipses, I will find. So, uh, in case you need any icon or something before you used to go to flat icon and website like that and now we got a number of, uh, of icons that are already on our disposal that we can use and it makes the work a lot uh, easier okay but uh, one of the things we need to now add is also we need to take into consideration but sometimes the image when selected need to be uh, need to be uh, how to say it uh, fill when it's not it doesn't need to be filled so i will first start with at state uh, private bar and uh, call it select tab is a boolean I'm sorry I meant an integer it is by default uh, zero okay and on our images we will add dot environment add dot symbol variants And there we got select a tab, select a tab is zero, then fill and else dot no. I'm sorry, dot fill. I forgot that, yes. And in on our tab item we will do on appear and in our on appear we will make select a tab equal zero. Okay. We will do the same to the other one. So for hard it will be this way but only if it's one. As you can see, it's not filled anymore. And we will add dot on appear. And we will give it a value of 1. We will do the same thing for every one here. Well, to be honest, we don't need only to inbox. Because the other one, I don't need, really need them to be selected. I want they will give them tab equal three. Give them select tab equal two and and in case when it is free, we have inbox selected, so well, it works uh, very nice. Uh, okay, the one thing probably that I still want to do, but I believe we don't need it because we will give a background that will be hopefully system gray 6 to the view so we will give it uh, to our tab bar a color of white we won't be able now to see it but after that when we apply the background color we, you will see the difference so on our tab view we will make it on appear and we will 
write the following code UI tabbar dot appearance dot background color equal dot white okay and to explain to you what we will are here doing we will go to explore new group we will call it views and in our views we will create a new file and swift to i file and we could call it explore group okay or we will create a vstack no need for a vista for now let's make a color let's say dot red and let's make a dot x ignore safe area so dot ignore safe area this one okay if we go to our main tab bar view and replace text explore view. explore view as you can see our tab bar is uh, having uh, is white uh, the white background that's not the color we will be using hopefully as you saw in the in the complete app uh, it will be this one it's gradient color and here it will be the system gray 6 so in the next video we will be starting to create our models view models and hopefully we will start on the explore view so please like subscribe and let's keep coding see you in the next video bye bye